Okay. Yeah. This one. Well, greetings and salutations, my ladies and gentlemen. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Rome, with a special tea time. This is my nice one and everything. And this one is a more complex one than my last. You know, it was the stupid one, yeah. Or not knowing what I'm doing with when it comes to acting one. Sorry if I'm not very good at comedy, but like I said, these are really not supposed to be comedic. I think that's who knows this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, still stupid from the last one too. Anyways. Last night, like the nineties kid I am, I found my favorite Christian ish kind of song that I've ever listened to in a very long time. And it was written by Joan Osborne, and as you may know it, and as I do know it, it is called One of Us. It was a it was a complex song in its own right. And the reason why I say Christianish is that whenever I listen to that song, yeah, it brings up heaven, God, but if you notice something, there's no Christian or Catholic guilt nonsense running throughout the whole thing. You don't see any of that nonsense. You see her on a boardwalk, taking pictures with you know, God cut out or something like that. Yeah. And I thought it was done very creatively, the video itself. Also the song. That's why the nineties were so I, I know a lot of people get tired of hearing how the nineties were so much better. Trust me, you were tired of the seventies saying the same exact freaking thing. Fifties even more so, you know. I was open to the fifties being a social normalcy, except you know, the whole anti gay thing. Sweet God, sits. Sorry, folks, got it. Yeah, I don't like you all. See that? Anyways, when I listened to that song, I was thinking about how. I'm thinking about heaven, also. And that. You know, I watch all of these atheists or deists or whatever religion you happen to be on the internet or on YouTube, here on YouTube, and I find them all to be interesting and deep and profound. And I have really actually nothing against them. Not as a Christian, not as a as a person. Okay. Maybe as a person, but that's the only thing I'll judge them on. However, I believe that. Oh, you okay, see, here's my teeth. I, and as a Christian, you know, I believe in a heaven and a hell. And the reason why, if I believe in a heaven and a hell at all, is I believe that there is such thing as punishment and reward. I believe heaven and hell are just that. If God has deemed, and this is what I'm saying, if God has deemed you to be a good person, by, you know, whatever rules he set out, frankly, I think it's up to God to define whether you're going to heaven or hell. So, and, that's my pure belief. And no, I don't think anyone's trying to take my heaven or hell away from me. I'm not one of those idiot Christians. Trust me, I'm not. But I have concerns because I believe everyone deserves a punishment and a reward. For people who are good, they are given, we'll say, let's say if you're in school. This is a good example. If you're a nice person, if you're a decent person, for the most part, for the most part, you are rewarded. Okay. Not every time, not all the time, 
And I think this is how Christians should be saying anything about God, if they're going to say anything. Is that, you know, bad things just happen to people, and that's the thing. Bad things just happen. It's not about, oh, well, good things happen to good people. No. If that was the case, I wouldn't have all my health problems. I probably, my, my parents could afford decent health care. Um, people around me who are sick all the time wouldn't have to be at the doctor all the time. No. I don't think that's what God intent would have actually intended us to have. However, I wish to believe in a heaven or a hell for my own, you know, you can say stupid Christian thing, reasons. I want to be able to fly. I know that sounds stupid, but I like to fly without, you know, the assistance of a plane or a hover car or jet. I literally would like just to have a nice body. I know a lot of girls kind of go, but you got the body, Gabby. You have that. Yeah, but you know something? I didn't exactly wish to have great big breasts, okay? No woman, no child really does. I mean, okay, I guess that's not fair. Maybe some very thin young women wish for that, but I'm thinking... Well, if you were intended to have that, then you probably would have been born that way. Sorry. It's not saying you can't get the breast implants if you want them. It really, I don't mean to criticize your body. You're beautiful nonetheless. We're just saying it's okay. Don't worry yourself. However, back to my heaven, why I wish there was a heaven. Uh, if there isn't, if there isn't, even a heaven. I mean, I also believe that you can create a heaven here on Earth. And we are getting closer to that, according to what TJ says. Sad thing is, Christians, and maybe it's just people all together, we're just in disbelief. I can believe it. I mean, 20 years ago, we would never allow gay people to be married. I'm glad now we allow it. We should have allowed it a whole hell of a lot longer time ago. It wasn't hurting anyone, and, and, but maybe it would not have worked well in the 60s since we were still trying to get away from the, uh, the 50s way of thinking about gay people. I just can't believe how we used to think of them. A lot of the stereotypes might and should be dying out. But at the same time, I I want them to be married, but I do miss my simple world, and maybe that's it. Maybe that's the whole thing. I miss my simple world. I miss getting up on Saturday mornings and watching my cartoons. Yes, people, that, that was my heaven. It, it was my perfect zen stupidity when I was only six and a half. And I would turn, I would grab the clicker, turn off. But ABC Family, I mean, not ABC Family, that didn't exist yet. Yeah, this is the past, you stupid. And we didn't have an Xbox then. <laughs> yeah, I get it. But anyways. I believe heaven is where you are. You have to make the world around you heaven in order to obtain such things. And maybe that's what heaven is. Maybe it's just kind of a restatement of normalcy. That place, that world that was undisturbed, that, that was not bothered with. If Adam and Eve had not taken the first Bible of Apple, which, you know, so now I actually look at the Bible in a totally different way. Mostly, and what I mean, I look at it in a totally different way. Here's how I look at the Bible now. Or 
So I personally look at the Bible when we're referring to Adam and Eve. Talking about taking a bite of the fruit and then seeing that both were naked and thus forth were ashamed, even though they were naked all from the beginning of the story anyways. I would say as a Christian, I would state that they had saw each other for who and what they were, a man and a woman, that they were now different. They were not the same person. You had Eve here with her nice rounded orbs or spears, and, and um, well, we'll pass on what was going on down over the mat. And then you got Adam over here with his as, you know, maybe not exactly muscular body, because when you think about it, they didn't know each other very long. He, you know, Adam probably had not been exercising and, you know, bulking up and getting all muscular, and he didn't really need to be muscular. Okay. To Eve, because Eve saw him as her friend, him as her friend. That's all. And I guess you could argue that was when man's perception of each other was ruined. Eve no longer uh, equaled up to Adam. Adam no longer equaled up to Eve. You know, Eve. Yes. They just were different. That's it. And that's when they started seeing each other in a sexual way opposed to a positive way. Again, I know I'm getting away from heaven. But, maybe that's what heaven is. Just that unspoiled place. That one place is not meant to be messed with. Maybe that's why we're so sensitive about it. You know, that's why. That's why we get so upset. I mean, heck, I get upset when I'm looking at my Facebook or Tumblr and I see stupid stuff on it. Like, you know, click if you like your grandma. Ignore if you hate. Okay. Ignore if you don't. Well, kind of thing. And I kind of go, yeah, I'll do that. Peace, my brother. Don't worry, we didn't take a trip back to the 1970s. Still 1990s all the way. Sorry. Um, however, but, however, I will have to say, out of everyone's perspective of how the world came to be or how death looks to some people, is the Egyptians. Egyptians basically didn't see anything such. I, I'm sorry if I made this video long, a lot longer than it should have been, really, it is, <laughs> but they just basically saw a really shadowy place, it, you know, there was no perception that there was a cloud in the sky, you would sit on it, you would have angel wings, no, there was no heaven like that, that was not going to exist. Maybe because of uh, their religion, maybe that wasn't exactly something you were supposed to see anyways. You know, just because you can have wings doesn't... Just because your gods have wings doesn't mean you're going to have wings. That's another thing I don't like about heaven. And that's the thing, look, that's... Sorry. <clears throat> that is a problem maybe some people have with heaven. Is that it's kind of a... This is our God, and therefore, and people have a right to be upset about that. Heaven is not about... It, it's got so many, everyone has so many different perspectives of it, that only <laughs> the person you put in charge of your heaven is up to it. Now, frankly, I've seen other people who are atheists on this channel who think otherwise about this heaven or hell thing. Okay. Okay. And they 
believe and do actually want to have it. Undertaker Freak is a good example. I can send a link of that video. Like I said, I hate the fact that this video is a lot longer than I wanted it to be, but I wanted, wanted to know that. Um, now, I'm not one of those, those Christians that believe in, you know, taking the good old Bible book and wagging it in someone's face. No, I don't get that. I don't know why Christians even think that way. I don't know who even started that nonsense. But I think it is a positive thing to think about because I believe that there should be a place of hope and safety and knowledge that you won't get hurt. That other people won't go out of their way to hurt you. That they're too happy and blissful to care if you exist. Yes. But at the same time, I understand what Amazing Atheist does say about that. I wouldn't want to live in a world where I didn't notice things. I mean, what kind of per I would just be a robot. Not basically. I would no essence. This would just be me. Yeah, did you watch that episode of Chelsea Handler last night? Where she hit herself in the head with a block? Not the bricks? Yes, I could say, yeah, wasn't that the funniest thing ever? Ha 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 Yeah, that... I would not want to rid myself of my humanity. And, well, yeah. It says in the Bible, well, yeah, no, we don't want that. Heaven is... To me, I would never want to rid myself of my humanity. And I don't think that's really what... God wants us to do. He basically wants us to try despite our religion. At least that's how I was taught and raised to think. There are tons of places that don't teach that way and I just don't get it. Anyways, folks, this is Everly O'Malley. Anyways, if it'd be okay, I know this video is long and probably get your attention for the last 20 minutes. That's a lot longer than I actually expected it to be. I want you just to write down in the comments, what would you guys like in your heaven, what would be there for you to look after you? If you had a god, what would you look like? Like, basically, kind of thing. And, again, I really do apologize if this video was disjointed in any way. And, well, please follow me on my Tumblr, my Twitter, and check out my new fanfic. I changed it to where you might only see one every two weeks. Sorry, I'm going to be starting classes soon, so I won't be involved with this as much. You might just go down to me one tea time a week to maybe a couple of Captain Planet views here and there. Yeah, but, anyways, thank you. I'm going to see what's on my Tumblr. Hmm. Uh, um, uh,
I think I just found God.